Today we're gonna compare some slings and fanny packs and belt bags from Logan and Lenora. So since I started following Logan and Lenora, they've actually come out with quite a few different small crossbody sling fanny pack options. Um, I have reviewed the sling bag on my channel before, like it has a full review, so I will link that down below so you can go check out the full review of this bag. I would say it's substantially bigger than the other three bags that I have here with me. This is the belt bag. Um, this is in their super cute um, leopard print. This is one of their like classic prints that comes in a lot of different styles. It's a really cute neutral leopard print that goes with everything and I really like the shape of this belt bag It's not your normal kind of fanny pack style So I think it's fun and different that way like I said We have the traditional like fanny pack style and this print is actually a collaboration that they've done with um, Demi to I'm not sure how to say her last name, but I think it's such a cool different um, print So I really wanted to grab this one now whenever you see a logo like this from Logan and Lenora where it says times here Logan and Lenora and it's like a collaboration that is a print that's not going to be around all the time so if you see a collaboration that you like you should probably snatch it up because I don't believe this is actually available anymore this slipper leopard print is available and if it's not they will bring it back whereas something like this they do have the fanny pack style but they're not going to have this exact print anymore and then this one that we have here is actually a newer style that they've started carrying. And this is called the Crossbody Clutch. This is in the Nordic Blue color. Very good neutral blue color. All these bags are gonna have this really awesome matte gold hardware. And all the bags are made out of a machine washable fabric. So that's the best part about these bags. They can be thrown into the washing machine and easily cleaned. Not only that, but these products are USA made in Denver, Colorado. So I also love that. I love support a USA made business um, it's a small business which I also love and their return policy is awesome you get a hundred days to try the bags out and like wear them use them see if you like them and if you don't they will take them back no problems so I've really been enjoying and loving their products lately especially knowing that if I get it dirty it's machine washable I have an almost four month old now and things get messy sometimes so I love these products the inside of all the bags is going to have this material here which is a waterproof lining the outer fabric is going to be stain and water resistant where the interior is actually waterproof and I really love their um, strap that they give you with their bags. It's a really nice thick um, kind of canvas strap and the width of it is nice and comfortable. And like I mentioned, I really love the look of the matte gold hardware. It just looks really nice and high end. Let me put the camera down and show you how these bags compare to each other. Okay, again, we have the crossbody clutch over here. We have the belt bag, the fanny pack, and then the sling bag back here. All these bags are gonna have a nice removable strap except for the belt bag. So if you look at the belt bag, this is a little bit of a thinner strap. It does have the buckle here, but this is not something that is removable um, like you get with the other bags that I have here. So if you were wanting to switch out your strap for like, let's say a striped strap or something colorful, if you're getting something more um, plain like this and you want to add a fun strap to it, something like the um, crossbody clutch or the fanny pack might be the better option. I think since I have it in the leopard print, I'm absolutely fine with just having the black strap attached to this bag. Now, like I said, the sling option is gonna be substantially um, bigger than the other options. So let me just unpack it for you really quickly. Um, like I mentioned, it does have its own um, separate review, so I'll link that down below. But just to show you what can fit in here compared to the other bags, let me show you. On the back, you do have some nice mesh and padding to keep you cool. In this pocket, I have my phone and my external phone charger. Then there's a smaller zipper pocket on this side. I'm keeping some gum and my wallet in that pocket. And then in this pocket here, um, you do have a key leash at the top. That's where I'm keeping my keys. In the front, I'm keeping earbuds. I also have lip gloss a hand sanitizer spray, chapstick. In the back, I'm keeping some wet ones. And then off to the side over here, I actually have a bottle, so you could fit um, water bottles in this bag, which I really like. And then I do have, the biggest piece in here is gonna be this um, medium 
I think it's actually the small, the small piece from my Lily Jade packing cases. This just has tons of different toiletries for myself and my baby in here. Um, I think I could have even thrown in like a diaper and maybe some wipes. So this bag is nice and roomy on those days when you want to be kind of minimal, but um, you have the option to carry quite a lot in here. But I think the other three bags are gonna be more comparable, so I'm just gonna take this out for now. But I will show you on the end what this looks like on the body. I think the next roomiest option is going to be the fanny pack. Just take the strap off so it's not in our way. On the back, you have a zippered pocket and you have this mesh padding again so it's nice and comfortable against your body. I think this is the perfect place to throw in your cell phone. And then let's take a look on the interior of the bag. There's no other um, internal structure like pockets or zippers or anything, but you do have this stretchy key leash. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my keys onto there, kind of tuck that down into that corner. Now let's see what else we can fit. I have my wipes here, I have the portable charger, my wallet can go right there in front. So I'm just doing all of the slim items. Um, here's my hand sanitizer spray. I can kind of tuck that into this corner. I have my gum. I think my like chapstick and lip gloss can kind of go tucked on the top right over there to the side. I still have quite a bit of room because once you close this, you have all of this space up here to work with. Um, I have my earbuds there. Let me just see for fun if it would fit a water bottle. I think you'd have to like kind of shove it into that corner, which you can. I mean, it's a little bit tight, but as you can see, I was able to zip that up. And then the fanny does have this nice um, piece of fabric here that covers the zipper. So if you did need to bring a water bottle with you and do, you didn't have all of that stuff that I had, um, you definitely could fit a water bottle in here. But without the water bottle and just all of those kind of normal necessities that I would need every day, um, it fits all of that stuff really great. And I think that looks better without that water bottle in there with all of that stuff. But like I said, if you're in a bind, you need to throw something in there, there is a little more room on top. All right, let me try and transfer these things into the crossbody clutch bag. Um, something I forgot to mention is on the clutch bag, this actually does come with a wristlet strap. The other bags don't come with that. So if you didn't want to have the um, crossbody on there, you could just carry this as a wristlet, which is really nice. And this bag is cool because it's just a really beautiful kind of flat, thin shape. In the front, there's kind of a hidden zippered pocket here. And I think this is where I would put things like my phone. Oh, it actually has a leash, again, for your keys. But since it is a wide pocket, let me see how wide it is compared to the fanny. Looks like the fanny is still a little bit wider just because those edges. Um, but I'm thinking they're probably gonna carry about the same. This bag does not have any sort of uh, mesh or padding like the other bags do. Um, like the sling did, this one does on the fanny and this one does on the belt bag as well. So something to note, um, it is like nice soft padded material and this one does not have that. All right, so my phone can go in here and yes, I still have room on the side to put my keys. Pocket feels pretty roomy so I think I'm actually going to throw in my wallet in there as well. That way I have all those really important essentials right there in the front. And then in the main portion of the bag, you can see no other zippers or pockets, but it is that super cool waterproof lining. So again, I'll try and do the biggest things first and then tuck in the small things. Gum that can go there. And I have my hand sanitizer I'll put on this side. And then I have my earbuds. This is what it's looking like so far. I just have a lip gloss and a chapstick left. And everything fits, but I definitely could not fit a water bottle in there if I wanted to like I could inside of the fanny. But again, that holds all of the essentials really nicely. Um, super cute little clutch bag that you can just kind of put underneath your arm or wear crossbody. But this is a fun new style that they have recently come out with and I really like it. Now this bag is more long and thin, um, whereas this belt bag has a little more space width wise. Um, it also has a rounded zipper opening here. There is still a zippered pocket here on the back. Oh, I have a receipt in there. <laughs> so let's see if I can fit my phone in there. I do like to have kind of a separate place for my phone to go. Yeah, my phone will fit in there, great. Let's see what I can fit onto the interior. Again, you get another key leash. So I believe all of the bags that I've shown you do have a key leash, which is great. Again, I'll just kind of tuck my keys down into that corner. Okay, let's see what we can fit. I have my wipes and my charger. I have my wallet that I'll throw in there. Gum. Okay, this 
this is what it's looking like so far. I still have quite a bit of room over here to work with. So I'm gonna throw in my hand sanitizer, the earbuds, and then the two lip products will just kind of lay at the top because I do have um, a little more space at the top to work with. Um, but removing those, you can see how everything fit. I actually really like how everything fits in this fanny. I feel like it has enough room. It's not super squished in the um, crossbody clutch. It felt a little bit tight. Even though it's not as wide, it doesn't feel as thin this way. So um, I can fit everything that I need without feeling like it's getting squished. Okay, yeah, I really like how this belt bag packs up. And again, even though there is a little bit of room there at the top, you couldn't fit anything like a water bottle into that one like you could in this fanny pack option. I think if I had to put an order of these three, which ones I like the most, I would probably say this fanny pack, then the belt bag, and then the clutch for how they packed up with my stuff. Anyways, there you go. I hope that was helpful to see the different bags and how they pack and how much they can fit. Um, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. I think these bags are awesome, especially for summertime when you're going to be outside a lot. Having something that you can throw in the washing machine is so incredibly nice. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week and enjoyed seeing a bunch of different um, new slings and belt bags on my channel. I think it's such a fun trend and I hope it doesn't go away anytime soon because I've really been enjoying it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future reviews and I will see you soon for my next one.